Hi Aquarius, welcome to your August 2020 reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Special welcome to my podcast listeners on Apple and Spotify. Aquarius, let's take a quick look at your oracle cards. Overall, what I'm getting is a feeling of protection, but protection, well, in this case, I feel it's protection that isn't serving you. And the reason why I feel that, Aquarius, is that there is a feeling here of protecting yourself from having your heart broken. But what it is really doing is, of course, it, it's protecting you from experiencing life, love. The energy of sewer, sewer mermaid is about sensuality. And it's uh, an energy of believing that your sensuality is a beautiful thing. So reminding you of your self-worth. There may have been an energy in the past here, Aquarius. Now, it could have been from some conditioning, perhaps by family. We have the energy of protective nest, and I'm seeing that as like a mothering energy, that believing that uh, sensuality is, is bad or that our sensuality is bad, you know, especially if you've grown up in a, in a very protective environment. So I feel like Aquarius, you, you, I'm speaking to someone who has grown up in a very protective environment and was taught to believe that their sensuality or the expression of their sensuality is a bad thing. So it creates blockages, it creates difficulties. We push people away we don't experience life to the fullest and the energy of the breaking from the journey of love is about feeling like your beliefs are being torn apart torn asunder if you will perhaps by a realization that you know what something that you believed in maybe wasn't wasn't serving you it, it feels like there's kind of a breakthrough if you will when it comes to how you're thinking about your, your sensuality, your body. So let's see where this goes, Aquarius. Could be someone around you as well. The bottom of the deck, I've got the chariot. Very strong energy of overcoming difficulties, overcoming uh, obstacles. An obstacle, perhaps, to, to love, to a relationship. I'll do a few more shuffles before we get started. Yeah, wish fulfillment. You know, having having a relationship that is a is a relationship that that ticks all the boxes for you. You know, it, it feels it feels very passionate, but I also feel that it, it's it's not a passion that you need to perceive or that you should perceive as a bad thing here, Aquarius. So let's see. What's going on for Aquarius in the month of August? We've got the star. That's beautiful energy. We also have the Ten of Cups, happiness, love, family. The Ace of Pentacles, lovely. This feels very powerful. It feels to me like you're being guided to a destined love, destined family. This feels like your your tribe, your soul tribe, uh, the, the person or the people that you're meant to be with here, Aquarius. Very strong, very solid. Let's see what else we have. Got you here as the king of wands. Or oh, that could be a fire sign around you. We also have the five of wands in reverse. And the four of wands. Okay. Yeah. I feel that when it comes to situations where you have felt, it, it feels like home, like family, like who you're meant to, to be with, who you're meant to settle down with. Now, I am picking up this strong energy of believing that things had to be a certain way with a partner. I do get very strong mothering energy around this. So a mother or someone who has been very mothering in the past has been very influential when it comes to your relationships here, Aquarius. 
But you know what? I feel that it may have pushed you into a direction of believing that family is pure. This is what I'm getting from spirit. Family is pure. But anyone who, or, or if even if you wanted to express your, your sensuality, that that was not pure, impure. Mm. Very old-fashioned kind of belief system. But what I'm sensing around you here is a curious, is, is a change in beliefs of what happiness is. Let's see. I've got the Queen of Wands. So we've got King and Queen here. The sun and also the hermit okay so that's the the energy here is of wanting happiness wanting that emotional fulfillment all of that but there's a disconnect when we have the hermit card a disconnect from the, the want what you see as as potential and how you're keeping yourself closed off from that. And it's because of some kind of belief that you're not, that, that it's not for you or that, it, that you're not good enough, something like that. With Sewer Mermaid, it's an interesting energy because it is about believing in yourself that you are attractive, beautiful, worthy of love and respect. Seeing your body as a place of health, delight, strength, rather than believing that it, it is bad or believing that it's unhealthy or somehow not clean loving all aspects of the physical self not criticizing hating ourselves no matter what sh size shape or differences that we may perceive as somehow bad in quotes we are of course all unique and that certainly applies to you as well here Aquarius so not being ashamed of the body learning to love the differences yeah it feels to me like a it is this potential for a a passionate relationship let's say that Aquarius but because of this belief system that you have that seems to be about uh, seem to be instilled by a, a nurturing figure for some of you it was a mother who may have been quite stern or old-fashioned a belief that uh, sensuality was a bad thing and I also get for some of you, you you don't feel good you don't feel good at the moment you don't maybe you don't feel your best I mean we've all been going through that quarantine I think we're all at the same level in terms of, of how we were not able to get out as much do things so so it may be that there's also a feeling here of just a, a belief that, that somehow you 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 don't want to be seen as bad. It, it it feels it feels like that. You don't want to be seen as impure. Yeah, or not wanting to see a partner as impure. Hmm. That's the thing. You know, seeing people, when I look at the this Queen of Wands energy and the Sun together, seeing people as a whole person and not just compartmentalizing pieces of them, Aquarius, like uh, seeing someone as pure and then if they're showing, if, if you have kind of a sexual attraction, then you, you kind of think to yourself, oh, that's, that person can't be pure then. Well, yeah, of course they can, because uh, sensuality, uh, attraction, physical attraction is not a bad thing. But yet I feel like I'm talking to an Aquarian who has had that belief that having that physical attraction and asserting that in some way is, is, is negative and that it, somehow that person should be not seen as, as as this whole person that they are yeah it feels to me with this breaking energy of the breaking up of an old pattern an old way of thinking and rather seeing a person as all of things good 
good and bad. We all have good and bad in us. We all have pure and impure. Uh, none of us are this this pure person. I mean, I'm looking at the star here, and for some reason, I'm seeing that as purity especially next to that Ten of Cups, so this belief that a partner had to be this perfect creature, right? It's almost like a, a feeling here that uh, someone that you needed to settle down with and have a family with, uh, you had to see them as pure and not see them as sexual, which is a bit crazy because Aquarius, somebody could be doing this to you as well if, if someone around you is, is somehow blocking a relationship. This could be why, especially if it's an older person. They seem to have an idea that uh, they need to compartmentalise who they're sexually attracted to and who they want to see as their, their wife or their committed partner who they have a family with it feels more like seeing that as purity right mother mother yeah it, it feels like that so difficult energy what to do about this well i feel it's up to the person i, I don't think that as an, if, if this is someone around you aquarius and I, I don't feel that you can really do much about it to be honest i think that you have to let this person sort it out on their own and and that's no guarantee either but this belief that they have it it's it's an internal it's an internal struggle for them because they think oh if i'm attracted if i'm physically attracted to that, to that person then i they can't be my partner or my family won't some, somehow they feel like they're, they're not going to be acceptable in some way yeah they really need to see a person as a whole person made up of many different parts you know not this breaking i'm seeing breaking here as breaking apart a person if you will and compartmentalizing that parts of that person as pure or impure mm yeah <sighs> tough one you know when i'm looking at this uh, this king of wands and and five of wands in reverse i'm looking at this man here and he's he's looking at this this map he's pointing at this map with his with this wand so this is someone who needs to have a, a wider view open up to different ways of being uh, this could be a, someone who has lived in, in a country perhaps or grew up in a country where there was very strict adherence to a, a, a religious doctrine something like that and that's why he's pointing at this map it's almost like he's pointing well he's pointing to somewhere in europe actually i'm seeing trying to see where he's pointing to it could be just europe in general but the, but the energy here is someone who has grown up in in believing this way and it's very strict yeah and this has brought this this brings up this conflict within this person but they need to find peace within themselves and they need to open up especially if they're perhaps living in a different country now with different uh, different belief systems not as strict then they need to open things up and and see them as they are which is having that uh, well i feel it's really a decision that they have to make either they stay closed off this hermit energy lonely alone or there seems to be an opportunity with this ace of pentacles to have something new in their life that looks good but yet it may not come in the package that they believed it needed to be like a neatly wrapped package nobody's perfect you know the thing is that especially if this is like a uh, someone who's a bit uh, a bit older you, know, you can't expect people to be pure when they're the, when they're older i mean they, they may have already had children they may have already had uh, a marriage or two 
so looking at the person but seeing them as 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 someone who is I get a confidence here I get uh, happiness of course but I also get strength like showing someone showing the way pointing the way even with the star it feels there's a very powerful attraction could be a fire sign here Aquarius male or female I've got them both Aquar uh, Aquarius it could be a uh, Leo Aries Sagittarius yeah but I think that this person has a uh, a lot of different qualities what I'm picking up around them is that they they do have that hermit energy so they may be they may be a, a mixture of uh, introvert and extrovert yeah, their work might might be putting them on display they may receive a lot of attention from people when they are out but at home they're more like this hermit character so I do think that this person has many different facets. So needing to see the whole person, I keep getting that energy from spirit. Yeah. And it's almost like um, Aquarius, with this person, you, you might fear that they attract too much attention. So you may want to kind of keep them cloistered, if you will, protected. Like, the, like a mothering hen kind of energy like needing to, to keep that person to yourself to cloister them you know, not uh, a little bit of a smothering energy Aquarius so let, let's have a look I'm going to pull a card from the, the Sacred Traveler and don't forget guys to press that thumbs up button if you're enjoying these videos and leave me a comment let me know what you think and also if you're a newcomer please do subscribe I'd love to have you as part of the Gypsy Insights team Band of Gypsies that's what I'm toying with let's have a look here message for Aquarius Aquarius what have we got for Aquarius message for Aquarius what does Aquarius need to hear? Desert Passage. Trust that there's a divine plan. So when I'm looking at this, I'm seeing a desert. So that's the thing. Do you want to live in a desert or do you want to live in, a, in an abundant environment? Fertile. There's a lack of growth. Nothing grows in a desert. So I'm, I'm getting an essence around this of like drought drought some for some people there may have been a drought in sex I'm, I'm getting that so areas of barrenness but beneath the surface life is transforming in accordance with your highest good trust that you're guided even if it doesn't always seem like it so acting on instincts believing that the messages that you're being given are in your highest good trusting what you feel it's kind of like not trusting that that you have this very strong um, physical connection with this person but you don't trust it you don't trust your instincts that desert path I feel that that's the way that you've been traveling Aquarius in the recent past it may have felt quite deserted lonely barren a lack of uh, fertility a dryness I even get dry, like a dry barren environment but it's in this isolation that uh, insights and intuition can emerge you know if you think of uh, shamans right they always go into the desert to connect more deeply with spirit you have to really trust those feelings trust what you're feeling this attraction to this person you know things that I'm getting around this is that where there is barrenness there will be new life I'm getting very strong rebirth energy getting into that fertile place so it's been a long road through this desert if you will 
but what's at the end? Well, I feel it, it's it is about fertility. It's about it is about uh, something that's going to create a happiness, happy environment. And for some here, it, it's about getting over uh, that uh, interesting connection between believing that who you settle down with you can't see as this sensual creature that's just for some of you but uh, I feel like that that could be a block towards starting a family of course because what happens well we all know what we need to do to, to start the family it doesn't just happen that stalk just doesn't arrive so the thing is there has to be that physical attraction to begin with that, that's just for some of you but I, I was getting that very strong energy around this yeah you know nothing too bad here I, I just feel like Aquarius for you it, it's the breaking apart of an old traditional values or a, a structured way of, of seeing life of seeing relationships and how they are seeing people you know kind of dividing them into these groups rather it's about seeing the whole picture of a person good and bad, pure and impure. Um, let's see, we'll get one more card here from the Sacred Traveler for Aquarius. And we have wandering path and then reaching your destination. So enjoying the journey. So don't be in such a rush to reach that destination. You know, if you're looking at this person and thinking, oh, you know, I really would like to, to see them as my uh, partner in life. You want to settle down, start a family unit, unit with them. Just remember that there are often kind of, um, I get that Chris Christopherson song, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, detours, uh, detours on the way to that destination. So the wandering path, enjoy, enjoying the journey yeah just letting it letting it go Let, letting that attachment to any kind of destination anything that that feels like you the, the goal and just opening up to the journey i think that that will go a long way it feels a lot a lot more free flowing it, it feels like releasing control as well and letting it happen fully experiencing every every bit of the journey as well you know I see this fox with the uh, with the uh, compass and the map so I do think that you have this strategic energy around you Aquarius you've been strategic in planning it, it, it feels like you you have this goal in mind with, with a certain someone You're mapping out your way to this destination, but you're encountering on the way some obstacles and some things that you didn't plan for, and we all do in life. It's kind of like taking that big, I'm seeing Europe again, taking that big European uh, travel thing where you go off for a couple of months, right? Well, you can plan that out all you like, but you're going to find some things that don't go to plan. And it feels like you're, uh, some things that you, you may be finding out about this person or it, it feels like, uh, oh, I wasn't expecting that. And so then you're having to kind of rejigger this plan on your way. Allow for it. Allow for, th allow for, uh, for things to, to be found out on the way. It's part of the fun, I feel getting to know someone so i'm going to leave it there aquarius and wish you all the very best if you'd like a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com thanks very much for watching guys special thank you to the podcast listeners on apple and spotify please uh, follow me there and of course don't forget to check out my youtube channel gypsy insights by michelle for more readings bye for now aquarius please take care